हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर संजय प्रोहित आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सटेंड ए वार्म वेलकम टू यू ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स एवरीवन हु हैज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड एनकरेज यू टू डू सो इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब इट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट सो डेट यू विल गेट ए न्यू वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन अलियस्ट फ्रेंड्स today we are going to talk about upward fixation of patella in animals in the clinic clinical procedure series by fourth lecture upward fixation of patella this is also known as catching of patella this is the condition of the stifle joint upward fixation of patella is known inflammatory functional disorder of the femoropatellar articulation upward fixation of patella does not endanger the life of the animal but seriously interfere their locomotion upward fixation of patella is recurrent or permanent in nature this is categorized as cold lameness a quad fixation of patella is commonly observed in rodent animals particularly cattle buffaloes horses and camel name in local dialects are thanak thanka sangad sagda tanch tanak tanel sadan chitki etc now we discuss about applied anatomy of staple joint staple joint is composed of two joint femoropatellar articulation and femoropatellar articulation the distal end of the femur has two trochlear ridges medial and lateral medial trochlear ridge is longer and wider in comparison to lateral one now we discuss about patella patella is large sesamoid bone which is developed in tendon of quadriceps femoris muscle patella is well connected to anterior tibial tuberosity by patellar ligaments this is also well connected with the femur by collateral ligaments In this picture this one is patella this is att anterior tibial tuberosity this one and these are the three patellar ligaments patellar ligaments are continuation of the fibrous band of quadriceps muscles to the anterior tibial tuberosity medial border of the patella carries well developed fibro cartilage or accessory cartilage which sometime get hooked over the knob of the medial trochlear ridge of the femur now we discuss about patella ligaments patella ligaments are three in number these are medial middle and lateral patella ligament the medial patella ligaments is also known as inner or internal patella ligament this is separated from middle patella ligaments at the both ends the second one is middle patella ligaments this is also known as median or anterior patella ligament this one is the thickest and strongest among three patella ligaments third one is the lateral patella ligament this is also known as outer or external patella ligament this is the flat 
एंड लाइज क्लोज टू दी मिडल पटेलर लिगामेंट इन दिस पिक्चर दिस वन इज एंटीरियर टेबल ट्यूबोसिटी दिस वन इज मीडियल पटेलर लिगामेंट this one is pedal patellar ligament and on the lateral aspect that is lateral patellar ligament this one is patella this one is quadriceps femoris muscles now we discuss about etiology or predisposing factors the laxity of the patellar ligament is main cause of the upward fixation of patella if the limb is over extended due to the muscular cramps or confirmatory defect patella may flow second one cause is breed or genetic predisposition in this the defective knee structures and functions also predispose the patella to flow trauma to the knee structures is also cause upward fixation of the patella physiological disorders particularly the deficiency of the calcium and phosphorus as well as during the late pregnancy and lactation the calcium and phosphorus deficiency are more common that cause the laxity of the patellar ligaments and ultimately may cause upward fixation of patella miscellaneous cause that include the morphological changes in the medial trochlear ridge of the femur age of the animals as well as climatic conditions also predispose the upward fixation of patella in animals now we discuss about mechanism of locking the relaxed ligament allow patella to glide freely on the articular surface of the trochlea due to the muscular cramp or confirmatory defect the patella apex may get jammed between the trochlea ridge by hooking the medial fibro cartilage of the patella over the knob of the medial trochlear ridge this would lead to complete extension of the limb see this picture in the normal animals and this picture so upward of patella in the normal element animals the patella is move up to this higher up to this margin when the patella ligament if there is laxity of the patella ligament as well as there is contraction or cramps in quadriceps femoris muscles that allow the movement of the patella over the normal upper limit and patella is get locked over the medial trochlea ridge at this position this one is patella this this one is patellar cartilage that is hooked over the medial trochlea of the femur now we discuss about the clinical sign locks the hind leg in extension until the animal can disengage it stifle and hook and not flex but fat lock can stifle one is the stifle joint this one is the hook joint both are extended while the fat lock is leg is seen to be straight and back 
with the hoop digging the digging along the ground posture of the animal is normal while at rest but every attempt to move the animal backward is resisted when the ligament disengages the leg jerk forward and animal move reasonably free until the ligament hooks up again sign disappear after few few step but reappear after prolonged rest audible click or feeling for a catching sensation as patella drops this may be seen in seen in one or two limbs when only one limb is affected means unilateral this is seen in some animals they keep the limbs in extension during the progression raise the hind quarter and move by swinging the limb forward and outward in some case due to the constant digging the medial aspect of the toe are worn out in some animals the symptoms are so severe due to the complete extension of the limbs they can they are unable even to move to sit the animal drops on the ground side keeping the affected limbs raised when this conditions is bilateral the animal neither able to lie down nor move forward symptoms are exaggerated in advanced stage of the pregnancy due to the relaxation of the ligament the clinical signs are often worse after rest during cold weather or with anxiety it tend to occur suddenly and may vary in severity now we discuss about diagnosis apart from patella is diagnosed based on the history as well as based on the clinical examination we see the patella is locked in extension position limb is extended based on the history and clinical sign under the field condition we can diagnose the upper extension the other diagnostic facilities for diagnostic aid are radiographic examination ultrasonographic examination scintigraphy and arthroscopy are also helpful to evaluate the upward fixation of patella in animals now we discuss about treatment upward fixation of patella is common in the animals particularly the dot animals and treatments options are conservative therapy as well as surgical therapy medial patellar desmotomy could be considered as last resort treatment for recurrent upward fixation of patella in animals first we discuss about conservative therapy that include first one is conditioning exercise work on the hills particularly of hills corrective swimming and swimming estrogen compound administration 
काउंटर इरिटेंट्स लाइक लिगोसायोडिन सिंसायोडिन इज आर हेल्पफुल इन माइल्ड केसेस पर्टिकुलरली इन द कैमल्स हॉर्सेस एंड कैटल विटामिन बी12 सप्लीमेंटेशन एक्यूपंचर एंड एक्यूप्रेशर थेरेपी मीडियल पटेलर लिगामेंट स्प्लिटिंग दीज आर द मेथड ऑफ कंजर्वेटिव थेरेपी दीज कोज द इन्फ्लामेशन एंड थिकनिंग ऑफ द लिगामेंट लिमिटिंग द फिक्सेशन ऑफ द लिगामेंट ओवर द मीडियल टोकलियर रिस्क ऑफ द फीमर दिस स्टेटमेंट इज मोस्ट इफेक्टिव फॉर द माइल्ड और इंटरमीडिएट फिक्सेशन रिजल्ट आर नॉट रायबली कंसिस्टेंट सर्जिकल ट्रीटमेंट दैट इंक्लूड द मीडियल पटेलर डेस्मोटोमी वेरी पॉपुलरली नॉन एस एमपीडी सब क्यूटेनियस डिवीजन ऑफ द मीडियल पटेलर लिगामेंट तो कैन नॉट कैच और लॉक ओवर द मीडियल टोकलियरिस ऑफ द फीमर इन वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज द मीडियल पटेलर डेस्मोटोमी नॉन एस पसीस मेथड मीडियल पटेलर डेस्मोटोमी इज परफॉर्म्ड बाय टू मेथड्स क्लोज मेथड एंड ओपन मेथड रिकमेंसी ऑफ द एनिमल्स द फॉर फिक्सेशन ऑफ पटेला द मीडियल पटेलर डेस्मोटोमी कैन बी परफॉर्म्ड इन स्टैंडिंग as well as in lateral recumbency the lateral recumbency is preferred and also recommended in the vicious and lactating animals in the vicious animals it is very difficult to touch or to palpate the medial patella ligament and to perform the mpd as well as the, in the in case of the lactating animals the large size of the other it is very difficult to perform the medial patella desmotomy so in case of the vicious animals and lactating animals always select the lateral recumbency after developing the adequate experience you can perform the medial patella desmotomy in standing animals now we discuss about medial patellar desmotomy medial patellar desmotomy have roughly four steps the first prepare the animals in this first the animals prepare the operative site and infiltrate the local anesthetic solution step second include the skin incision step third include transection of the medial patellar ligament step fourth include wound closure these are the four steps in the medial patellar desmotomy now first we discuss about the casting of the animal animal is cast in lateral recumbency with affected limbs lower most on the ground side other three limbs are tied together the affected limb is tied just near the fat lock with the rope and pulled backward to flex the scaphal joint and make the medial patellar ligament more broad operator should sit on the posterior aspect pushing the point of the hook toward the ground and rotate the stifle joint to better expose the site of the incision
index finger is moved along the cranial border of the tibia to locate ATT, anterior tibial fibrosity. Anterior tibial fibrosity is the highest elevated, highest elevated portion over the tibia. Actual location of the medial patellar ligaments can be performed by two methods. First method, first palpate the anterior tibial tubosity, then two finger upward and two finger medial to anterior tibial tubosity is the location of the medial patellar ligament. See this. This one is anterior tibial fibrosity. Then goes about two finger upward. Then go two finger toward the medial side. And this is roughly the location of the medial patellar ligament. Medial patellar ligament. This is one method to palpate the medial patellar ligament. Second one. First palpate ATT. ATT anterior table pubosity is the landmark. Then place then place the index finger. Then place the middle finger over the ATT and thumb over the medial table pubosity. And in that case, the index finger is roughly over the medial patellar ligament. When you put your middle finger over the intertable tubosity, thumb over the medial tibial tubosity, and then the your index finger is touching or indicating the location of the medial patellar ligament. These are two methods to identify or to palpate the medial patellar ligament. The medial patellar ligament is palpated with index finger by its prominence and crest. Medial patellar ligament is widely separated from the medial patellar ligament. It is not possible to appreciate the groove between the ligament due to adipose and fibrous tissue. The groove between the medial and middle patellar ligament is then palpated. A septic preparation of the site, infiltration of the local anesthetic solution and use PP plate number 11 or 12 with PP handle number 3. See this picture. This one is PP blade number 11 and this one is shape and size of BP blade number 12 and this one is BP handle number 3. So you can see the shape and size of these blades. These are used in medial patellar desmatomy. Now, first we discuss about the open method. The small incision is made in the skin directly over the medial patellar ligament. Fascia is dissected to expose the white gelatinous medial patellar ligament. Ligament is exteriorized by passing a crowd scissor or Tena column plate-wise under the ligament. Ligament is then transected by withdrawing the knife toward the operator. Wound is explored with index finger and undivided fibers of ligament are severed completely. The skin wound is sutured with one or two interpreter suture which are removed on 12th post-operative day. In bovine, 
a piece of ligament is removed to prevent the union of cut and of the ligament now we discuss about close method the close method finger is slipped inward at the level of the medial condyle of the tibia into the groove between the cranial and medial patella ligament medial one is felt as prominent pod lignocaine hydrochloride solution is infiltrated area is swabbed with antiseptic solution like povidone iodine mobilize the skin from the medial stifle white loose skin to more cranial directions knife is passed between the medial and middle ligament and a sharp edge of the instrument is directed toward the ligament transected the medial patellar ligament by withdrawing the knife toward the operator while allowing the skin to roll back medially from where it was mobilized if the ligament is not completely transected the procedure is repeated a small quantity of the tincture iodine is instilled into the wound which is left unsutured limb is flexed and extended for several times for complete severing of the fibers which are undivided Trying to identify the correct sectioning, protrusion of the adipose tissues through the incision. Palpable depression develops in the course of tough medial patellar ligament. Free stifle flexion. If the animal is freed from restraint, immediate relief. by stifle moves softly and without crunching sound and catching during the progression now we discuss about complication of medial patellar dermatomy there may be the transection of the medial patellar ligament instead of medial patellar ligament transection of the collateral ligament penetration of the joint capsule damage to genuity particularly the articular branch hemorrhage and infections are the complications observed in the medial patellar dermatomy now we discuss about the result result are miraculous and the animal walk without a limp immediately after successful surgery in case of horses in case of the cows in case of the buffaloes surgical advancement now we discuss some surgical advancement first one is ultra sound guided medial patellar dermatomy the surgical ultrasonographic image of the medial patellar ligament with the surgical blade visualized in the ligament during the dermatomy is seen this first image. we first we locate the medial patellar ligament then insert the blade for the transection of the medial patellar ligament ultrasound guided medial patellar dermatomy is helpful for correct sectioning of the medial patellar ligament 
this image is showing the medial patellar ligament after the surgery there is a gap in the medial patellar ligament after transection so this uh, provide the accuracy in the sectioning of the medial patellar ligament now we discuss about sewing of the ligament using threads case of the equines and case of the equines and in case of the catalan buffaloes the insert the needle beneath the medial patella ligament this is the patella this is the ligament we insert the needle beneath the medial patella ligament and the using the threads this one is the thread by the sewing action sewing action of the threads the ligament is transected similarly in case of the bovines in cattle and buffaloes the medial patella ligament is is transected using the thread now we discuss about the splitting of medial patellar ligament the splitting of the medial patellar ligament this is the medial patellar ligament this one is patella and we are split the ligament like this the splitting cause is scarring and scarring and thickening result to prevent the ligament from catching or locking over the medial trochlear ridge of the femur animal can return to work after only a brief recovery period recurrence in bovine a piece of ligament is removed to prevent the reunion of the cut edges of the ligament in case of the camel the counter irritant injection could be repeated in unilateral cases there is fair chances of the subsequent involvement of the other limb therefore it is advisable to operate both the limbs even only one limb is affected at time of the surgery now we discuss prevention training and exercise improve the muscle tone in potential breeding animals particularly the the males the stifle should be carefully examined during walking for this reason careful selection of the breeding bull is important now we discuss about post operative management daily antiseptic dressing of the surgical wound post operative antibiotics and analgesic therapy and regular walk or run friends now we discuss about the difference between upward fixation of patella and singhal the upward fixation of patella the sign are turkey movement and extension of the hind limb in this over extension followed by flexion while in case of the singhal the periodic movement periodic jerky movement toward the abdomen over flexion followed by extension in case of the upward fixation of patella extension followed by flexion while in case of the singhal over flexion followed by type of disease upward fixation of patella is musculoskeletal disease while the 
स्टिंग हार्ट इज न्यूरो मस्कुलर डिजीज टाइगेट ऑफ दर सेक्शन ऑफ पटेला इज साइफल जॉइन वाइल द टाइगेट ऑफ दिस स्टिंग हार्ट इज लेटल डिजिटल एक्सेंसर टेंडन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द अपर सेक्शन ऑफ पटेला इज डेस्मोटोमी वाइल इन केस ऑफ द स्टिंग हार्ट we perform tenectomy name of the operation the pep of what section of patella in that we perform the medial patella desmotomy mpd that is also known as basis method while the lateral digital extensor tenectomy peroneal tenectomy or focus operation are performed in case of the sting halt operative site avoid fixation of patella the medial desmotomy is performed on medial aspect of the stifle joint while in case of the sting halt the lateral digital extensor tenectomy is performed on the lateral aspect of the hock joint see this picture in the upward section of patella there is extension of, of the limbs it is followed by flexion while in case of the sting halt limb is flex that is followed by extension once expertise develop the mpd can be done even in standing animal easily if locking is complete even when affected limb is not on the ground even with large size of the pp blade now this is the questions quiz time we design some questions based on today's lecture you are requested to solve these questions at the end of video the answer is also provided so that you can evaluate yourself question number 1 medial patellar desmotomy is not twice of treatment of upward fixation of patella in option a buffalo option b bullock option c camel option d horse question number 2 during the upward fixation of patella patella is locked on option a lateral cochlea of femur option b medial cochlea of femur option c anterior tibial fibrosity option d medial tibial fibrosity question number 3 treatment of upward fixation of patella is plantar tenotomy option b medial patellar desmotomy option c medial patellar desmotomy option d union tenotomy question number 4 treatment of upward fixation of patella is option a bocards operation option b basis operation option c punels operation option d beers operation
Question number five. Following which joint is present in flex condition during upward fixation of patella? Option A. Stifle joint. Option B. Hock joint. Option C. Fetlock joint. Option D. All above. Now, the answer time. The question number one. Option C. Question number two. Option B. Question number three. Option D. Question number four. Option B. Question number five, option C. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please see video once more. If you have further any doubt, just write me in comment box or mail me. I will respond. You are requested to like, comments, and share this video. You are also requested to subscribe my YouTube channel, FutureWet. Thanks again.